live in Leesburg. Yes. I'm live in Leesburg with the two big guys here. Got Santa and Mike. Hey. And it's Brittany, of course. You know, here in Leesburg. Brittany who? Huh? Where is she? I don't know. But we're in downtown Leesburg, right? Downtown Leesburg. Downtown Leesburg. Yep. We're at Great Chicago Fire and Brewery Bike yes. Night. Yep. So, come out and see us if you're going to come. Well, then tomorrow we'll be at Gator Harley all day. Yep. And Saturday we'll be at Gator Harley all day. So stop by there. Yeah, but what's going on at Gator Harley? It's the Leesburg Bike Rally. Okay. What's going on there? So, they're, they, they are actually doing it uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. And we will Sunday. be there both tomorrow and Saturday. Yep. But, I'm Unfortunately, we're going to have to go to a wedding, wedding. on Sunday. Crazy. Somebody's twisting Thank our arm. You. <laughs> <laughs> For the wedding. But, uh, yeah, so we're over here in downtown Leesburg, right across the street from Chicago Fire and Brewery and Tap Room. So, uh, hey, you want to go check it out? Uh, Is that what we're doing? Well, give us a minute. We're going to bring in uh, the real Santa Claus. Oh, we're bringing in the real Santa Claus. Yeah, we found this imposter. So oh, we're okay. The real Santa that's yeah. So, Come on in, Pat. Tell oh, there, yes, our, our real Santa. Hey! You guys have got the real imposter. What is, what is this? Hanging out with, we're hanging out with big Santas? Yes. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, we couldn't find you for a while, so we had to get the big guy. I know, it's been a minute. I know, where have you been? Working. 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 Uh, Working. Yeah. Working. Yeah. Friends, man. Yeah. Nate's watching y'all today. Are you watching, Nate? <laughs> I hope you're watching. Because you didn't show up tonight, so, you know, hey, I hope you're watching at least. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff working right now with the president. Okay. Do you want to walk over there and see some bikes? Just get the or do you want to stay here and talk a little bit? Thanks for pulling on the president. What's going on with the president? All right, right now we still got an auction going on. We're auctioning off came worn jerseys and pants. Okay? We're doing lots of five at a time. Minimum bid is $75. You still have until tomorrow night, Friday night at 9 p.m., is the cutoff for the first batch. Uh, we got some bids on some of them right now. It's not late. It's not too late right now. I think people are waiting. I think they're waiting until the last minute to, okay. to throw it in there to try to get the lowest bid or whatever. Sure. I'm not sure. Do That's you know, cool. Do you know what your highest bid is so far? Right now it is $100 on, okay. on number 55, which is Cook. Okay. Right, one, of, one, of our, uh, one of our big boys. Okay. And, uh, I think that's the only jerk you had in the fit. No, there's another one that's a 4X. I think this is a 3X. <laughs> we got a 4X going on right now. Wow. But yeah, we got a lot of things going on. Um, I'm going to announce the winner Sunday night, 6 p.m. And then Monday morning, starts a new auction. Five different, five more different jerseys that we're going to be going on. So, uh, uh, I mean, oh man, there, uh, I had a lot of people ask it. I want this jersey here. I want this jersey here. It's like, okay, it will come. It will come. So some people are waiting on a, a specific number, okay. and that's cool too. You know, hey, wait for it. It's gonna come. There's something wrong with that. Yeah. No, it's. I mean, it's. It's all good. It's, it, I mean, you get a piece of Orlando Predator history, some Predator memorabilia, and these are game worn jerseys. So they're not brand new, all right? So, no, they've been washed. They've been washed. Oh, we don't want them anymore. <laughs> There's no DNA in there, so, you know, they've all been washed. But, I mean, some of them got a little tear here, you know, but not much. Not much at all. Uh, let's see, what's that big one? I was going to say the big one. Uh, Darius Tolbert's jersey's going to be on there next week. Okay. Um, number 31, Corey Henry. Uh, you know where they You've been watching, you know. Yeah, I want this one, I want this one, I said it's going to go on next week. So, make sure you're in there on, you know, Monday, Thursday, so you can bid on it. But, I got a real uh, surprise for Monday night on Thread Talk. Okay. I've got... Um, I'm going to be on the show. You're going to be there. Yeah, you're going to be there. Are you? <laughs> you can come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. We'll interview you, too. I know you're some camera shot. But, um, no, we have Mark Lewis. One of our previous Orlando Predator kickers. He's like, he's got, I think he's got records in the NAL, or not the NAL, but arena football, for like the most points scored by a kicker in wow. history. I mean, he was amazing. I'd love, love to get him signed for the 2021 season. <laughs> uh, he'll probably say I'm too old for that, but uh, you know, hey, hey, you can still kick. Kickers don't have to tackle people. They don't have to. 
Yeah. Although I did look a little bit of, um, his Wikipedia, and he's got a lot of tackles too. Wow. For a kicker, that's amazing. He's got a, awesome. he's got a 14, 14 year history playing in arena football, which is pretty long. Yeah, yeah that's a long, that's a long you know, stretch there. Especially yeah. kickers don't need to hit anybody so they can go a little longer. Yeah. So Mark, if you're watching, think about it. You know, think about it. We can uh, work something out. Get you back, you know, in a better uniform. Get you back in the jungle. Bring some of them fans in that know you and love you. All right. All right. So, like, you've got the auction going on. Auction going on. You're having Mr. Uh, Lewis come out. Mark Lewis coming out. Come out to do your uh, your show. So. What else is going on with Pred Nation? Like, you know, what's going, what, what are we projecting as of right now for the 2021 season? You got any? Because it's been a minute. It's been a minute it's since you've been, been on the show. It's been a minute, yeah. I mean, we're, <laughs> listen, we're still planning on having a 2021 season. I mean, that's, we always, we, we plan on having a 2020 season. You never know what's going to happen. But, the election's almost over. You know, so hopefully things will clear up and we can get some more clarity from the Amway, from the league, and find out what kind of uh, social distancing or what we're going to have to do to get people into the Amway Center, into the jungle, so that we can have a season and start playing some football. Okay. You know, uh, we're still selling season tickets for the 2021 season. We're still selling the season tickets at the 2020 price. So you can get lower bowl at the Amway Center starting as low as $98 for the whole season. We're looking at seven home games. I mean, that's like $14, $14 a game yeah. for the season. Yeah. You're going to spend more than that going out somewhere doing food when you're going out and having dinner. Oh, yeah. and, and you get some, some right in your face football. I mean, Orlando Predator style. Yeah. And, and with Ben Bennett as our head coach, and we've got some great coaching staff, we've re signed a lot of other the quality players that we had signed for the 2021 season, or the 2020 season, back to the 2021 season. Nice. Some of them we lost because, of course, we have the new team in Albany, so we had some players that live up in New York yeah. in that area. And they didn't resign with us, but they signed with Albany. So I mean, hey, shit happens. But you know, I didn't get my phone call. Did I emailed you. <laughs> yeah, I emailed you. You need to check my junk phone. You need to check it when I put Orlando Predators. Sometimes it goes right to. Yeah, it goes right to Spain. <laughs> I don't know why. How about maybe you didn't like me? Uh, Mike, you were the first one I emailed. <laughs> you blocked me on your phone. I don't know why, but you know that's why I couldn't call you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try for that kid. Hey, you never know. So is I. You know, <laughs> now we, have, we may have a winner. <laughs> it's how far you That can was effortless. It. Like, it was like. <laughs> it's, you gotta be able to. You gotta be able to. Say how high you can get. You gotta be able to kick the ball. I can kick the ball. At least 55 yards in the air because it's gotta go through the uprights. I would love to try it sometime. You know what, that can be a range too. I would love sure to try it sometime. Like <laughs> I got something. What's up with this dance competition, man? She challenged you, and Laura says you're going to make it happen. That's still in the works. It's still in the works. I mean, you know. Still a possibility, yes. I ain't scared of nothing. You're scared of Brittany, aren't you? No, no. I'm scared of Mary, but I'm not scared of Brittany. <laughs> you better be afraid of Brittany. No. I'm scared of I got, I got a secret weapon with me, <laughs> Junior DeVoe. That's my secret weapon. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to be one of those wipe, 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 and then it's not me anymore, but it's Junior right there. <laughs> That's my secret weapon. No That's cheating. how it works. That's not cheating. That's TikTok. Oh, okay. TikTok cheating. cheating with TikTok. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we still got to do that. That's going to be fun. Yeah. I do like the suit. Yeah, you need a you need one. Well, you have a you have a special Christmas. Suit. I have an outfit. I have seen the outfit, and it is an pretty outfit. it's pretty spectacular. I have to say, you do look like a wrapped up present. I mean, you're a present every day, but you're all wrapped up in that thing. <laughs> it's so cute. I've got a bashful though. Oh my God, please. Yeah. Stop. You're killing me. <laughs> okay. All right. Since everything you got going on with the bread, right? Okay, we're going to walk across the street. We're going to get a fire Nobody can get a fire car. Or a motorcycle. Oh, that's half the fun. Okay. I can jump and play. We're going to try not to get hit out there in a row. So, we got a 
got John Sokol sitting outside of the front porch. Let's go grab him, talk to him. And I want to talk to him and talk to him and explain the power that he built. I'm going to say one more thing, though. One more thing about uh, uh, Predators. Saturday, look for a new video of the new, the five new batches of uh, jerseys that we're going to be auctioning off. I think we're going to film it tomorrow. We're going to have to, the auction closes Friday. We're going to put that out there probably Saturday. And just what's going to be there. And then the auction is going to start 9 a.m. Monday morning. So, all right. All right, stay tuned for that. All right, sounds good. So I guess we're going to go stroll across the street. Stroll across the street. We're going to get John. Stroll? Yeah, like yeah. do the, you know, do stroll. You we're can swagger if you want. We're doing the Christmas stroll, right? <laughs> yeah. Do that. to sit down and just reflect and you know whether you knew a firefighter to pass away or a police officer passed away or if you have a firefighter or police officer in your family you know, just want to say a little prayer okay. this is kind of the place to do it we, this, this, this used to be the sign for the restaurant and we kept looking at it going what can we do with this how can we make it events are during the day so a lot of people at work can't come out. We always have a survivor from 9-11 and someone that's there at ground zero. We have police officers and firefighters. Uh, and next year we're going to get a chaplain that was there. Oh, wow. And they speak and they talk and we do about a half hour presentation. We usually get 100 to 200 people here just uh, kind of, I don't want people to work yet. My wife's a school teacher. She teaches junior high. And she said her kids don't have a clue. 9-11 was 9-11. <laughs> it can't be that way. Yeah, I mean, we all remember where we were, but, you know, we're talking, what, 20-some years later, these kids, what's 9-11? They don't understand the significance of what happened. It was the first time, except for, like, Pearl Harbor, that on our mainland, that, that we were actually attacked by another country. So, so this is our dedication to him. Mike did a great job. That's beautiful. Mike does good work. He does. He's, he's an interesting guy. Yep. <laughs> That's but, what we say about most artists. They're interesting people. Yes, but uh, we are. I've cited that, that he got it done, and, and I'm really happy with it, just having this little corner for people coming out. Okay. Yeah. Very much appreciated. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. it. And how often are you going to keep doing the bike nights? Uh, you know what? We're going to, we haven't stopped. Um, we, You know, during COVID, we didn't do them. We started them back up last month. We used to, way back in the day, we kind of switched some dates around because Gator's our, our sponsor. We used to get over 100 bikes here. But now everybody does a bike. When I first came down here four years ago, bike nights were kind of new. Not everybody was doing them. So they were coming out from Orlando. I literally had over 100 bikes here. But now you see more places for bike nights, and that's cool. And we're happy with this little crowd. You know, it's a nice little crowd. Got some good music. It's always a good Thursday night. It's always the second Thursday. I'd love to see it bigger, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but we, we enjoy the people that come out and we just appreciate anybody that puts 
And you know, I know if it was the rain or what, but my God, it's the most beautiful night ever. It is. It is. <laughs> now, you also have another establishment. Right, right around the corner. And, yes. And you guys, if you remember from um, Bikes and Barbecue for Autism, the warehouse, which is the Military Fire Police Support Association. Um, basically, the warehouse is a social club. All the food and, and the beverages and gaming that we do there goes to support the MMPSA. And what we do from there is we, we put money, like today, just alone today, we help sponsor the um, oh, uh, Firefighter Association, the uh, uh, Lake County Firefighter Association cook off. Um, Bikes and Barbecue for Autism is going to sponsor the um, special needs food thing. We started that last year. We just wrote Sergeant Kim and the police department two checks. Uh, one for their police fund, which is if there's a fallen firefighter, if a firefighter gets injured, it helps their family. And we also have a program, uh, Shop with a Cop, which is kind of cool. To get all the younger kids get bikes and gifts, the older kids get gift cards and the opportunity to shop with a police officer about uh, police officers in Leesburg. So we uh, we just had our veterans picnic on last Sunday where we invited all the veterans to the free. It was a great turnout. It was sponsored by Rabas, uh, Sunny's, our cook, uh, What's Cooking at the warehouse. So it was a really good event. And now we have vouchers to feed all the police and fire. So all they have to do is come uniform with a badge and uh, we'll feed them off our menu. So it's kind of, we just try to help out. That's what we're about. It's about giving back to the community. That's the military part. One other thing we did do that wasn't really related to that, but the hospital, the uh, the Leesburg Hospital came to us. They have a mammogram voucher program. And during uh, breast cancer awareness, they're trying to raise money. And it's $100 per voucher if you can't afford your mammogram which obviously is probably the best way for early detection of breast cancer. So we, uh, we created a drink there called the Yes Ma'am. And all the money we raised from selling them, I mean, every guy, we wrote them a check for $500, which we presented to them yesterday. And here at the warehouse, my, uh, or at Chicago Fire, my brewmaster brewed a uh, beer called Second Base. <laughs> And uh, beer's a little more expensive to do, so we, we donated one dollar from every pint sold, so we donated one hundred twenty five dollars. Oh my God, that's awesome! <laughs> Very good. Yeah. And we appreciate what you guys do being in the in the bike community. We we kind of miss Hark uh, Hark in the, his magazine. Unfortunately, he was kind of the spokesman. So to have you guys still out there and, and working for us and uh, being our spokesperson is amazing. So we just have <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys had an amazing evening. Thank you, you too. Good job. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Here we are at the Chicago Fire Brewery and Tap Room out in Leesburg, Florida. If you ever have a chance, definitely come by here. And if you're a firefighter or police officer, you're military, veteran or active, there's also the warehouse owned by also by that fine gentleman there. And uh, we also have uh, tomorrow and Friday and Sunday we have Gator Harley's uh, Leesburg Bike Rally because the Bike Fest is actually canceled. But they are at least putting on their Bike Rally those three days. So again, tomorrow from 9 to 8, right? Uh, Saturday the same, correct? Saturday's 9 to 8. 9 to 8 and then Sunday. Yes. We just left that place. That place is packed with vendors. Already, already packed, with, including us. Like we're, you know, not really selling anything, but uh, you know, we're out, we're out there. Uh, we're out there at least tomorrow from 11 uh, until the evening, and then Saturday we're going to be out there as well. And again, as I have to remind you, yes, we're right next to the bar, right near the stage. Yes. Imagine that. <laughs> the beer will be flowing. It's all who you know. Yes. <laughs> yes so. Now the Orlando Predators are not going to be there until tomorrow, and but we are going to make an appearance and uh, we're going to be handing out some T-shirts, some uh, some uh, wristbands, some nice. lanyards, things like that there on Saturday later in the afternoon. Okay. Got a birthday party I got to go to at Ocala, but on the way back we're swinging by there. We're going to make an appearance and, uh, you know, hand out some, some Predators flags. Right. So, uh, is he going to wear the suit? A special suit? <laughs> Why not? So, yeah, again, Chicago Fire uh, Brewery and Tap Room here in downtown Leesburg. Anytime, whatever. You have the warehouse for your firefighters, police, and military. 
go check those out. And then tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday is uh, Leesburg Arcade or Harley Leesburg Bike Rally. And we will be there tomorrow and Saturday if you guys want to come check us out. Huh? We'll be all over the place. Yep. Hey, is, is that any different than any other time? <laughs> oh, yeah. Center, where's Walter? I know, we should play a game. Let's see how many people can, like, who can tag IT, because he's a man of mystery. <laughs> but you know what? If, if they follow you guys, Find this guy. If, you follow, if you follow Second Paper TV, you can look at their post. You know what IT John looks like. You just have to find him. I'll bet you can find him. He may buy you up here. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah. You got the connections. You got the connections. Should I get him a stripy shirt? Yeah, yeah. Mary, I got that for you. Yeah, I bet Mary will let you borrow hers. <laughs> get, a, get like a black and red one. You know? It's red and white. It's red and white. Red and white. Red and white. Red and Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. No one's going to find me, so I don't know why you're talking. <laughs> Yeah, he's been in White House jail. <laughs> Good to get him in Lake County jail. He's almost, almost in the Lake County jail, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people that, you know, they probably should have been in Lake County jail. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right. So everyone have a good evening. Here we go. Join the adventure and enjoy the ride. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you this weekend. <laughs>